Hey, buddy. Do you know what day it is? It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday then. It's Friday, Sunday. What? It's Friday again. It's Friday, Sunday. It's Friday It's Friday It's Friday again. It's Friday It's Friday again. It's Good morning, Baldwin Bulldogs. Welcome to the Baldwin News. My name is Kylie Magdaleno. And Cindy Arbero. We are super excited because next week we have fun in the sun. Hope to see you guys there. Yay! <laughs> next week is School Spirit Day. Make sure you guys wear your superhero gear. For Superhero Day. Yay! Yay. Yesterday the Baldwin store opened for the first time. On Thursday 1st, 3rd, and 5th we're able to go. On Friday 2nd, 4th, and 6th we'll be able to go. Make sure you guys have 10 Bulldog books to shop at the store. And here's Mr. Pena showing a few clips of the Baldwin store. Hey boys and girls, welcome to the Baldwin store. Let me show you around the Baldwin store. Boys and girls, if we have 10 Baldwin books, we have a special section for 10 Baldwin books. You are only able to come to the Baldwin store if you have 10 or more Baldwin books. If you don't have 10, boys and girls, just save for the next week you could come and purchase something. Let me show you, we have sour patches for 10 Baldwin bucks. We have different types of stamps. We're getting close to Halloween, so we do have some Halloween stamps. We have some Baldwin Paw stamps. Now on this side, boys and girls, we also have a bunch of erasers that you could purchase, different kinds of erasers. We have pencils and we have sharpeners. And let me show you over here, boys and girls, this is a little bit more expensive, but I want to show you the awesome things we have. We have Play-Doh. We have the small Play-Doh. We have a Play-Doh set in the back. We have Legos. Look at this. This is like a Lego mansion, boys and girls. Let's go over here on this side. We have a $20 section. On $20 section, you could buy emoji bracelets, different emoji bracelets. We have we have these kind of toys. We have balls that you could toss around. Let me show you this one. This one's in the $100 section, but I forgot to show you these. I know these are really, really popular right now with the boys and girls. So I want to show you these. Poppets. We have different poppets. We have square poppets. We have, what is this? An octagon um, poppet. Let's come over to the other section. We have the $40 section. We have airplanes. We have yo-yos, we have bubbles, make your own bracelets, and here in the school supplies, any school supplies, crayons, markers, pencil boxes, paper, all this is 40, 40 Baldwin bucks, boys and girls. Let's go on this section, the $60 section, $60 section, look, we have emojis that you get to hang on your backpack. These are cool. I like these. All right. We have those. We have big, larger bubbles. We have bracelets that snap into your hands. We have, let me show you this, boys and girls. This is a cool one. I like this one because these go pretty high. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. All right. Now, $75 section. I like this section here. We have eggs but inside the eggs there's a surprise toy let's see what this one has Ooh, it has an orange car look at that boys and girls awesome let's go over here uh we do have a couple other toys inside this it looks it looks like a cat and candy but inside this is a doll with a long 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 hair this is really cool i like this one right here we have they look like cookies, but inside these cookies, we have bra um, bracelets, friendship bracelets. So if you have a friend and you want to buy a bracelet, this is the one to get, boys and girls. All right. 
boys and girls, as you can see, we have many things. We have a bowling, bowling pack. We have the unicorn from the Minions. We have a Minion back here that was donated by Ms. Clausen. Thank you, Mrs. Clausen, for donating that Minion. And over here, we have this big, large owl, boys and girls. We have so many awesome things. I do want to show you one more. These are really, really popular with students right now. I'm sure you know what this is. Some Among Us. Yes, boys and girls. And these are really cheap. They're only 75 Baldwin bucks. So we hope to see you here. First, third, and fifth grade on Thursdays. Second, fourth, and sixth grade on Fridays. TK and Kinder, we'll see you with appointments. Your teachers could set up appointments, and we'll see you, and you're welcome to come and purchase things from the Baldwin store. Oh, and I did forget one more thing. I want to show you one more thing. We do have chips. Different chips for 25 Baldwin bucks. Okay, boys and girls? Thank you. Have a great day. Here's Donna with the College of the Week. Take Get it away, Donna. Donna. Welcome to the College of the Week. Today's College of the Week is Stanford. Stanford is one of the most is one of the most research-oriented universities in the world and is a private research university. And it is ranked on the top of 10 best universities. It was founded in 1885 by Leland and Jane Stanford. Located in Stanford, California, its most popular majors are computer science, human biography, uh, biography um, engineering, and cognitive science. Stanford has 33 varsity sports teams. It offers students participation in a wide range of sports including hockey, volleyball, lightweight rowing, synchronized swimming, venting, and much more. Stanford participates at the NCAA Division I level. Its mascot is a Stanford tree. That's it for the College of the Week. Here's Julian with the joke of the week. Take, Take it away, Julian. What did the math book say to the other math book? I don't know. I have a lot of problems. Here's Rebecca with the quote of the week. Take, Take it away, Rebecca. Rebecca. This quote of the week is by Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. This quote means you are able to accomplish anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. You will get it done. If you tell yourself you can do something, then that's what's going to happen. That's, that's the end for the quote of the week. Here's Emma with the fun fact of the week. Take, Take it, it away, away, Emma. The fun fact of the week is, did you know that strawberries are the only fruits that have seeds on the outside? I hope you like the fun fact of the week. Here's Viviana and Sanibel interviewing students. Take it away, girls. Hello, my name is Viviana, and I'm here with... Ava. Ava, can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. Have you ever filled someone's bucket lately? Yes, I have. May I ask how? Um, when people get hurt, I usually go help them and take them to the nurses. Thank you. Hello, Baltimore Bulldogs. My name is Viviana, and I'm here with... Jaime. Jaime, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you filled anyone's bucket lately? Yep. May I ask how? Yep. How have you filled someone's bucket lately? By shaving a jump rope. Thank you. Here's Angelina and Isabella interviewing teachers. Okay. Take it away, girl. Hi, I'm Angelina Lopez, and today I'm here with... Mrs. Waybright. Ms. Waybright, can I ask you a question? Sure thing. Have you filled anyone's bucket lately? I try to make sure that I fill people's buckets on a daily basis and try to be helpful and kind. That's awesome. Ms. Isabella Wood, and today I'm here with... Mrs. Martinez. Ms. Martinez, can I ask you a question? Sure. Have you filled anybody's bucket recently? I try to fill my students' buckets every day by telling them how smart they are, how proud I am of them, and how hard they're working. Thank you so much. Ms. Isabella Wood, and today I'm here with... Mrs. Iorio? Ms. Iorio, can I ask you a question? Sure. Have you filled anyone's bucket lately? Uh, yes I did. Earlier this week I complimented somebody on their shoes. Thank you. I love shoes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angelina Lopez and I'm here with... Mrs. Reese. Have you filled any buckets lately? Well, I try to fill my students' buckets as much as I can. Um, I start every morning with greeting them. I 
try to smile. I hope they can see my smiling eyes because um, they can't see my real smile. But I greet them with good morning as they come in, and I hope that that starts off their day with some bucket filling. Filling, yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's awesome. I wish I was in your class. Well, you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angelina Lopez, and today I'm here with... Miss Name. Miss Name, have you filled any buckets lately? Uh, with my students, I try to fill buckets with my students every day, but especially those students who are super quiet and kind of shy, I try to find something that they're doing really well and try to fill their buckets that, uh, by giving them compliments. Paulina with the Bucket of the Week. Take, Take it away, Paulina. This week's Book of the Week is posted by John David Anderson. This book is about a middle school that bans all cell phones, so the students are communicating with posted sticky notes instead. But the notes are getting mean, teasing, and bullying other kids. Eric and his group of friends welcome a new student to the school, but as she stands up to the bullying, they are forced to take sides. You should read this book if you are interested in anti-bullying and friendships. This book will offer another look at how words have the power to hurt others, but that it takes courage to stand up to the bullying. You can find this book at the library in the chapter book section. Here's Camila with the SCF segment. Take it, Get away. it away, Camila! Hi, I'm Camila. We're here with the SEL segment. I hope you enjoy our video. Remember to be safe, respectful, and responsible. Because that's, that's the Bulldog way. way. Who let the dog?